Okay, the piston kick. Okay, this is a combination of kicks, and this is designed to make your opponent's attention go towards the first kick, and then you're really trying to land the second. Okay, so what's happening here is I don't really want to get a good turnover. I can do this, okay? But a lot of inside uh, leg kicks, which we're going to get into, we're going and we're attacking the most muscle, which is kind of in an upward angle, okay? This is one of the only times I want to do this, and I want to make sure my distance is good when I do this. So as I'm here, this is just getting the distraction for my second kick. So as I'm here, I'm going to kind of chamber this and then hop. So as I'm here, and I hop, okay? Again, here. And then as this hip is dropping and it's not fully turned over, I'm hopping and turning my second kick over, my right kick, I'm turning the hip over. So as I'm here, here, hop. Again, upper kick, that's it. So the piston kick, this is an amazing technique if your opponent is really biting on that first kick. Application of the piston kick, okay? It's a lot different because in the real world, I'm just gonna be throwing this towards his groin. Okay, I don't care about inside leg kicks or anything, okay? And I'm turning, okay? This is the best groin kick when we're both faced in the same stance and my lead kick is closest, okay? Obviously, if you're gonna kick towards someone's groin, they're gonna flinch, that's what we want. So we're here, towards your groin, okay? This is a great way for a high kick, but also it doesn't matter if, okay, I'm here. If I get in the groin, perfect. This is just the kind of thing I'm setting up and I'm gonna go again, right? I'm here, okay? That is the piston kick or the double kick.